KB on two on. Okay, hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are will be discussing the case of Cassandra Denise Hall, who went missing on May 9th, 1994, and her mother, Lauren Williams Hall, will discuss. Will be here with us to discuss uh, her case and the movement around it. Uh, Cleshendra Denise Hall has been missing from Pine Bluff, Arkansas since May 4th, 1994. That's 29 years. 29 years. She was 18, year old, 18 years old when she went missing. Hey, hey, how you doing? So I should be... How you doing? Okay, I'll say you now. Okay. Hello, how you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm doing good. It's so good to finally get a hold of you. <laughs> finally. It took a while. It took a while. <laughs> yes. But I didn't give up. I definitely didn't give up. So um, we're here to discuss your daughter, Cassandra Denise Hall. She went missing from uh, Pine Bluff, Arkansas on May 9th, 1994. Right? Yes, that's okay. correct. Now, we're approaching 30 years. years. Okay, can you tell us what happened that day? Um, that was a typical day. I had um, she had gone to school that morning, and that afternoon, about two thirty, I picked her up from school because, as a senior, um, she could get off early, get out of school early if she had a job, and so she was going to go to her after school job that day. Um, I took her um, to the home office where she worked. And when we got there, no one was there. So she came home, um, laid down on the couch to take a nap. And I guess a little before five, her boss's wife called and said, I'm at home and Clea can come over. Clea got up off the couch, wiped the sleep out of her eye, got into our vehicle, and I dropped her off. I watched her walk inside, and that was the last time that I saw her. Wow. So now the day, that she, okay. Now take us to the night where she um said she would call you when she, when she was coming home. Okay, to... okay. So on the that Monday night, uh, May ninth, um, she had called um home, and my son and I picked up the. Phone and I pick up the extension. I didn't say anything, and she said, "Anybody call?" And he said, "No." She said, "Okay, bye," which was not unusual because um, back then um, there were cell phones, but not that many, and so it wasn't unusual for her to call home and ask if somebody had called her. And because her boss didn't like her to spend a whole lot of time on the phone, she made the the call short, and so I fell asleep. And my husband came in, I guess it was about um, 12.45 a.m. And he had a habit of checking everybody's room to make sure everybody was snug. And when he came in and woke me up and said, is Clea still at work? And I, I hopped up and went and looked at her room because I was half asleep and not thinking. And I said, I guess so. So I came um, to the living room to um, dial her place of employment because I'm I'm thinking she didn't call me and I didn't sleep and okay. when I called her her boss he answered the phone on the first ring and he said I said is clear still there he said no she left and I'm like who did she leave with because she hadn't made it home and he said um I guess a ride picked her up and he's like I don't know and he's like wait a minute hold on let me check her time sheet and he said yes she left at 8 30 and that was the last thing that we have heard regarding her whereabouts now the next, next day how was, how was everything the next day the next day uh, when we got up and she's because I stayed up all night because you know I'm I'm a parent thinking, okay, she's a senior, so maybe she's flexing her independence, right. which she hadn't, but you know, so I said, okay, I'm 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 gonna be waiting for her when she comes home. So I stayed up all night. So the next morning, my sons, when they got up to get ready for school, because I had two sons at home at the time, and they said, Where's Clint? Like she didn't come home. 
So my middle son was in band with her. And so he said, well, I'll see if she's at school when I go to school. So when he went to school that particular day, the seniors had gone to one of the elementary schools to play. Okay. And he said, she's not here, but the seniors have gone. But when they come back, um, I'll call you. And so he called me at lunchtime and said she wasn't with them. Mm. And so then I, I'm I'm thinking something's not right because she doesn't she doesn't stay out all night, you know, has never stayed out all night. So what's going on? And so I call, call the police. Well, the police told me I had to wait 24 hours, which would have been the time that I dropped her off at work, almost five o'clock. And so at five o'clock, my husband and I went to the police station to fill out a police report. And the guy that was there, he half-heartedly took our report and just said, oh, she'll probably be home. Typical. They always label uh, black women or black people runaways. You know, they left on their own instead of just investigating the cases. I always tell people, I think a lot of these cases would have been solved had they just, you know, investigated them. Initially, yeah, because um, even we didn't necessarily take their word for for that, especially when she didn't show up after at five o'clock. And, you know, when she got up to go to work, she didn't have anything, no purse, no money, no ID, no clothes. She had on a short set um, that she had put on when she got home from school. And that was it. She didn't have everything everything was still left here and i kept telling them you know if somebody plan on leaving they usually take something they she didn't take right. id money purse nothing that's and that's very strange that she didn't take anything and he's adamant that she left well you know um we haven't spoke to him probably since okay the next day he called me the next morning and said he was going to a neighboring town to check on some daycare business because she did clerical work for him. Um, he had He's not a medical doctor or anything like that. He had a grant-funded program where he provided food for people with daycares. Okay. And so she kept, uh, like, kept up with the tallies that wrote checks and different things like that. And so he said he was going to a neighboring town to check on uh, a daycare and he would check that e evening when he got back to town. And so I believe maybe he called and asked if um, we had heard from her and we didn't. So when the police didn't do anything, I contacted the news people because I'm like, somebody needs to help me find my child because right. it's not like her two weeks from graduation you know even if she wanted to run away two weeks from graduation she could leave and go anywhere she wanted to but she had a planner that she had listed everything that she was going to do from the last two weeks of school up until august when she went to college she that, had filled in the planner right that doesn't sound like, like somebody who's gonna run away at all right right and so once the police, once the news people came in and they contacted the police to see what was going on. And then they went to the school to talk to the school. The school told them that um, she was a good student. Actually, she was an honor student. And because she didn't give them any trouble at school, then they decided that maybe something wasn't right. But they, they told me to my face that had she been a trouble child at school, they wouldn't have done anything because of her age. Wow. She, she had just turned 18 on March 30th. And so um, back then, you know, and, and it's still that way today that the older a, a child is, the, the less they look for them. That's that's true. That's, that's in a lot of cases. That's true. True in a lot of cases. We've had a girl missing from here, from Delaware, 17 years and nothing really. Nothing. So. Well, we we're at we're to, uh, May ninth of this year would be thirty years. Thirty, thirty years. Wow, thirty. Thirty years. I and can't, I, I can't even imagine seeing my not. I can't. I cannot imagine not seeing my kids for two days. So, I guess just you know, thirty years. Um. So now over the years, what what happened with the investigation over the years? I mean, nothing was really done, or 
there's 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 no it's it's kind of I don't even know how to how to describe it. It's it's like okay if if they didn't do the thing that they needed to do initially at the mm-hmm. beginning, you know, like that that show the first forty eight hours, um, then there's not a whole, whole lot that they can do. And in our case, um, Clea, although we've had some missing persons reports in Pine Bluff, but she was the only one that never um, was found or never showed back up. Okay. And so um, it's like our case has been dropped, picked up, dropped, picked up. You know, it's cold. Well, I think we've had like we're on number nineteen police chief since she disappeared. I think number nineteen. And nobody has no nobody has answers at all. Well, they're gonna look. Um, you know, they're searching. They want to solve the case. Um, but I don't know what they can do. Um, at this point, her boss. Uh, didn't fully cooperate. They let him leave town right. the next day. And then he left state, left the state the, a couple of days after that. Because he and had they, too, right? Yeah, actually, he has um, several children. Okay. Um, I, I think he had like five. He had one by this current wife that was four at the time that Clear was working for him. Okay. But And that's his second wife. So he had um, four or five children by his first wife. Did he have a son that died or something? Or something, or something that, uh, his something his him? his son was was killed uh, two or three years ago. Right, I was reading that two or three uh, blunt blunt force trauma or something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I also was reading where they they found evidence like eighteen years later in the house, but they didn't say what they found. No, they didn't. And as a matter of fact, um, the with the day that they did the search, um, somebody called me to tell me that they're doing a search down at the guy's house. So, you know, we, we go running down there, you know, because I was working that day. And so I just hopped in my car and went down there and um, we stayed down there all day. Like the, I think they went over there at 830 in the morning. So about five o'clock, they came out with some bags and put the bags in. Um, the trunk of one of the police officer's car, even though the crime scene tech person was there. And so about, let's see, March, April. So about three, two or three months after that, no, 40 days exactly, I went to the city council meeting, which at that time the city council was in charge of the police department or the boss of the police department. And so I went to the city council meeting and I said, I want, want someone to help me find out what happened to my daughter and so when the meeting was over um and the press just happened to be there and i asked the police chief where what's going on with the evidence that was pulled from the search and she said to me that they had been um, c- calling the crime lab every day. They had a standing appointment every Wednesday and they don't have any information right now. So one of the, the reporters that was there at the time um, called the crime lab to find out what was going on with the evidence. And the crime lab said, we don't have any evidence on a Cleshendra Hall case. Wow. So, so it, it turned out that when the evidence was put in the trunk of one of the police detective's car. Um, He drove the car home. It sat in the trunk over the weekend. And Mm. when he came and he put it in in the um, evidence room, wherever they keep stuff, and the the crime scene person um, didn't think to ask about where it was. So in 40 days, when I asked, it was still sitting in the uh, evidence room. Wow. 40 days had, after they... You mean tell me this guy took this evidence home overnight, let it set the weekend, and then the weekend. it set for 40 more days? 
Wow. 40 days. Unbelievable. 40 days. And um, so I don't know if, 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 if there was, if it turned up anything of importance because it, it's, it's been kind of like that. That's why I said, you know, we don't know any more than we knew on May 9th, 1994, when I dropped off at work. So that's almost 30 years ago, 30 years with no answers. No answers. And there's nobody who said that they picked her up and gave her a ride. None of the neighbors said that they saw her walking. And so it's just a mystery. And then, of course, her boss and you, you I didn't. Well, you can't make somebody take a polygraph. Um, and he declined that two times when they set him up an appointment, and he always that said was, he had a that meeting. Was, yeah, that was a uh, um, that was a sign of trouble for me right there when he declined the polygraph because my thing of it is if you're if you're innocent, you're going to take a polygraph to uh, clear your name, and by not him doing that twice, that raised a red flag. That really makes me think that she went to work, but she never left work. Well, he didn't do uh, he didn't um, take the polygraph. Uh, over the years, he would pay people to take her flyers down. And, you know, we would put like a pink bow on the the light post across the street from his house. And he would go over and take it down because one of uh, my son's friends called me one day when they saw him taking it down. And we had just put it up like 15 minutes earlier. So he taking, wow, he was taking these things down. Wow. We really wow. haven't even had conversation with him in thirty years, and um, it's just kind of strange because he he said in a, a newspaper interview that he didn't have any more responsibility um, to her than he would any employee. And I, I was just thinking, if somebody's child, and I don't care if she had turned eighteen, she was still my baby. If they came up missing from my house, I probably would would be more worried about what happened than the parents would be because um even though she was 18 she was still in my care whatever amount of time that was right and so i'm really surprised that that he would make that comment and like i said we haven't had any well i, I take that back we did try to um uh, we had we had a psychic lady that came mm -hmm. to town and she wanted uh she had a uh, reputation of helping police solve cases and so you know I believe everybody has a gift of some sort so um, she came here and we called him on a, it was a Sunday at the church so we waited till we thought he had gotten home and asked if we could come and see where she worked and he said um, you and who else I said well her dad wants to see her aunts wants to see and he said well I've got a meeting I've got to go to and anyway I don't want to be bothered by any psychics. He had passed our house. I didn't know that her license plate had ESP1 because she had pulled into the yard, but he had passed by and saw it. And so we waited another 30 minutes. We got into my sister-in-law's vehicle, which it was a new minivan. And we got in there and drove down in front of his house, you know, slowed down so the psychic could get a feel. And then, you know, we went past the house around the corner. There's a, 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 a lot. And so we got out of the car on the lot and she was kind of standing there, I guess, you know, trying to see what she could feel. Mm -hmm. And pretty soon a police car pulled up and drove past us and down the street from, from us is a, a, a dead end. But at the dead end is a ballpark. So he just parked at the ballpark and just sat there. So I figured he had called the police on yeah. us wow. and so i think that was the last conversation that we had wow. so it just seemed like to me that he just he doesn't care at all he doesn't care that, she, that this is your child or this happened like it's just like he's just cool all the way around the board like i don't know this this guy just seems to for me from the jump it just always he's, i mean every time i read the story every time i you know see the see the flyer i'm you know i'm thinking like she, you know, she never, it was no odd behavior out of her. You know, she never said she, she, she never left in the world without calling. Like, it just, it just all, all signs point back to him. And not even, like, I have three sons and all of them were pretty close. And I mean, 
nothing was going on at our at our house. Um, the 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 day she the, the day she disappeared was the Sunday after Mother's Day. The Saturday after that, she had gone to um, a, a a sorority dance, and the Friday was prom. So there was nothing that would would go on with her that would make her all of a sudden decide I'm not coming back home. Right. I totally understand that. And here we are in 2023, which said next month to be 30 years and still, still nothing. Nothing. Not, not, I'm not a clue. Wow. Mm. Not a clue. And, you know, for me, I guess watching over the years, different shows, unsolved mysteries and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm thinking they need to start with the last person to see her. And I kept saying, y'all haven't, y'all haven't eliminated him as a suspect, although the new term is person of interest. So y'all hadn't eliminated him and he hasn't done enough to help eliminate himself. So he's still a person of interest. I, or, I, I, or, I don't know. Oh, you don't know. Right, right. You don't know. He said 19, 19 detectives have been on the case. Police chief. Police yeah. chief, I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. That's yeah, a lot. Chief. Thirty years and to not know anything like somebody has to know something like I don't know. I just I'm one of the people that's hopeful that you know one day somewhere that you know some kind of answers will come up you know in this case and you you know you'll get some kind of closure. I don't know after, after all this time I don't know how much closure you know you can get besides you know knowing you know knowing exactly what happened. But I do pray that you get some kind of closure with her case because 30 years is a long time. You know, I, I would like uh, for sure to know what happened to her. Um, 30 years does seem like a long time. And I just have to keep reminding myself that the Bible says a thousand years is but a day in, you know, in the sight of God. So, you know, it seems like a long time for me, but it may not be too long for him to give us the answers. Right. I know there's somebody out there that knows um, what happened other than him, other than God. I know there's somebody out there that knows um, what happened. And they've been, I, I'm not even sure how it is that they could hold it all this time. It would have to be somebody that would be really mean. And, you know, and I was looking at your page at all of the people that were missing and just um, looking at the National Center of people missing just in the last three months, it, it's just unreal that um, these people are not accounted for. And I know that um, the world is coming to an end sometime with all the things that are going on, it's coming to an end. But I don't think God has come back and just raptured up some people. Right. So where where are these people and and where and I know that these cases um, have to be solved one case at a time, and it's still possible that our case can be solved. And when those girls, I don't know if you remember the case, those girls in Cleveland that had been missing for 10 years. Yes. And, and this guy, out. yes. And this Eric guy walking Castro. from McDonald's. Yeah. Help, help them escape. And they had been a, a, not far from home, kept in a house all you know what? for 10 You're years. So right about that. Right about that. Yeah. Stuff and like that so, happen. yeah. And I, 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 be, I still believe that um, it's possible that, um, we can we can find clear alive and breathing. I still believe that it's possible, but if if it's not, um, I still want to know what happened to her. Right, and you should and you should you know you, you know you're her mother. You don't want to give birth to her, so you definitely should know. You definitely should well, know. You know her her dad wants to know her brother. Right, dad. Uh, aunt, right. You know her two grandmothers have passed away, um, not knowing. You know what happened to her, and you know she has some nieces and a nephew that she's never seen. They've never seen her, and they just know her from the stories and the, the missing flyers and and articles. Right. But they like to know her. 
I, I can tell you, you know, long, long as I have, my, I have long as I have both my pages, you know, I always share her story. I keep telling them her story. I'll keep sharing, you know, because I, I want, I want all these cases solved too, one day at a time, you know. Um, my, my journey's been, I, I've had a journey too, you know, to this point too. So we all have a story, but you know, somewhere, somewhere or another, our story. It has to have some kind of ending, whether it's good, bad, or you know, in between. You know, we got to have an ending. I right. Think we all deserve that. So we we do it. I, there, I, mean, I don't. There, uh -huh. yeah, I don't know why somebody would let let family suffer. I I don't understand why. And that's, um, so they would... that's so true. That's so true. I I I put a, I, I put a quote up today from a lady that says, "God bless the souls who knew." And didn't say anything because I know they knew something that happened to my sister. This lady's sister been missing for 20 years, and she knows people knows. But of course, people don't come forward until something until something happens or it's too late. But then they never put themselves in somebody else's position because it just 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 as much as it could be your loved one, it could be theirs too. People don't yeah. understand that part of it. You know, it's it, like it's like it's nothing for anybody to go missing. Like I can go missing. Anybody can go missing. They don't. They 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 don't never say it that way. But you know, I just pray for answers. Right. Um, we pray for answers, and um, I don't give up hope until, um, you know, um, over the year, I think about maybe five years after she disappeared, they found the remains of someone, and they um requested her dental records to see if they were a match, and you know, and I said. Even if you say you found her and you match her dental records, then I, I need to see whatever remains there are because I know what her teeth look like. Right. You know, um, and so I, I know um, her, the, the shape of her face. I don't care if it's, it would be, even if it was just a skull, I would know right. what, what she looked like. And I, so I, I'm not going to just take somebody's word that um, this is her and, uh, you know, let somebody, Try to put her, put her to rest, and and it might not even be her. Right, right. So, um, just, do you have do you have anything like it's just I it's mean, just crazy. So, okay, right. So, what was you? I mean, is there anything else that you have 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 to say or want to say? You know, I would, would just say that you know, if there's somebody out there with some information that they would come forward. You know, there's um, the Palm Bluff Police Department has an anonymous tip line if somebody wants to give some information. And, you know, one of the reasons that I, I do um, I, or I try to get on um, these um, blogs like yours is because I'm just hoping that by chance somebody sees um, her story and decide, oh, yeah, I remember that story. And um, I, I saw somebody that looked like her or um I know some information and I've held it all this time and I just can't hold it anymore because um, we are, my husband and I are getting um, older and we are, we've, we've turned 65. And when, when I think of the fact that, you know, we've turned 65 and I'm thinking, you know, how much, how much longer do we have on this earth? And right. I don't necessarily want to leave without knowing what happened to my child right. that I, you know, you know, I know everything is up to God. And I, I mean, that'd be one of the first questions I ask after he lets me in heaven is, you know, what, what happened to Clea? I know she's his daughter as well, but I want to know what happened to the one that he loaned to me. Right. Right. And so I just wish that somebody would come forward with some information and, and tell us um, something so that, you know, we release balloons on her birthday. We release balloons every May 9th and only one come forward and said that they even found a balloon that we've released. And that, I think that was in 2013, maybe. Okay. And so um, I'm, we still hoping when we release those balloons we release uh our hope and along with our faith that somebody's going to come forward or god is going to um help us 
um, or uncover whatever it is that we need to know about what happened to Clea. Right. I I I I do believe that God will bless you one day, and I'm I'm hoping I'm praying. Like I said, I'm here every step of the way. Like no matter what, whatever you need, just reach out. But I really really thank you for coming on tonight and um sharing her story because it definitely needed to be told from you from from family member. And you were the first person to uh to tell her story. I appreciate it because you know uh, we tried a, a couple of months ago and it, the storm, the internet, it was just. The, <laughs> the yes, devil that didn't all. want the story to get out and but i'm like okay let me reach out again because this time we're gonna make this we're gonna yes, make we, this thing we did, work we definitely did make make this story tonight trust me it, and this will be shared everywhere i'm sharing all my groups but again um i thank you for coming on and uh have a good night i appreciate you and those uh those people that tuned in i appreciate it so much I, you just uh, anytime that we can tell somebody that clear is missing um is a is a good thing for us that means that there's one more person that knows that clear is missing from pine bluff arkansas and if anybody has some information contact the pine bluff police department or contact um their tip line and if you go to help find Cleshendra hall uh, on Facebook page, you'll see um, her um, bench um, that has the tip line, and somebody can call in with some information. And sometimes just just telling it, you know, start making people think about maybe there's something uh, we haven't tried. I can't imagine what we haven't tried, but maybe there's something we haven't tried that could help us solve the case. Yeah. Yes, definitely. If you, even if you, even if you want to reach out here to me and Mr. Black people, you have answers. And like you said, the Pine Bluff, please do. 30 years is a long time. It please is. Help. It Hall is. Get answers for her daughter. Thank you and so like, much. I appreciate I, you. Thank you, too. Okay, you have a good night, Ms. Hall. Okay, you too. Good night. Good night.